Good evening and welcome to another episode of Six O'Clock Spurs. Barnaby can't be here tonight, he's off getting a haircut, so they've let me out of the Spurred On social media dungeon to join you tonight. Up first, super defender and all-round Spurs heartthrob Jan Vertonghen has said that despite our declining form in the Europa League, we have a squad that can take us to the final and go on and win the tournament. He said, I think in the past couple of years, we didn't take our chance to win the Europa League and I think we had the possibilities, especially in 2013 when we lost against Basel in the quarterfinals. We want to show that we can compete in Europe as well and I think that we have the bench and squad for that. Next up, West Ham United released a statement today saying that if Spurs want a temporary stay at Upton Park whilst our stadium gets built, then we'll need their permission. The club statement read, Vice Chairman Karen Brady would like to confirm that as a condition of the sale, she put a covenant on the ground which prevents any other football club from using it without the express permission of West Ham United. This categorically rules out any other football team, including Tottenham Hotspur, from using the ground to play football matches unless the board of West Ham United gives them permission to do so. One of our Facebook, uh, one of our Facebook followers summed this up brilliantly by saying, I'd rather f*** in my own shoes and walk to Milton Keynes. We feel you, brother. So what do you hope will happen with the move? Uh, do, would you like us to possibly have a ground share at Wembley? Would you like us to move to Upton Park if we get West Ham's permission? Let us know your views and leave them in the comment section below. Finally, as Spurs loanee Nathan Adua continues to impress at Rangers, he's become somewhat of a target for the less forgiving Scottish defenders. During a game against Livingston on Tuesday, it took just 30 seconds for someone to snap him at the ankle um, with a horrendous studs up challenge. Uh, how he escaped a broken ankle, I really don't know. Adua joined the debate after the game, retweeting a fan who said that the tackle was more like an assault on the 19-year-old. So that's it for Six O'Clock Spurs. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and give us a follow on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Big news today. First up, it's rumoured that Manchester United are interested in stealing Berahino from under our very noses. As you well know, in August, at the end of the transfer window, we went big trying to get Berahino.